Batman, Emotion Behind the Mask Written by Batman and Cher Batman coughs, the building is burning, but there's still a child trapped inside. Batman's suit is burnt and he is injured, but he doesn't let that stop him. The flames roar surrounding the Dark Knight as he goes to the burning and collapsing hallways. He calls out to the child, only to hear a very faint, but still audible coughs through the flames. Batman avoids the flames and falling debris in order to reach this child. He kicks down a burning door, and in the room, finds the child, trapped under rubble, barely hanging on to life. Batman approaches, trying to calm the child. But as he does, a giant support beam falls on top of Batman, incapacitating him. When he awakes, he pushes the beam off of him. Quickly getting on his feet, he pushes the rubble off the child and grabs them to get out of the building. Batman has nowhere to go, so he jumps out of a nearby window, cushioning the child as they fall to the ground. Batman stands, but when he checks on the child, he freezes. His face goes pale. Batman doesn't feel a pulse. He desperately tries to find one, but there's nothing. Batman rushes the child to an ambulance to leave them with the paramedics, but they say there's nothing they can do. Batman is devastated, and when he sees a family rush to the ambulance, he can't bear to stay. So he grapples away. As he does, he hears the mother's cry fade out the farther he gets. Batman goes back to the Batcave to think deeply think about the events that have taken place tonight. He sits as a tear runs down his cheek. Batman thinks he could have done more. There has to have been something he could have done to save that child. Batman can't handle the fact that a life was lost tonight. More tears run down each of his cheeks. Suddenly, Alfred speaks up saying that he knows what Bruce is going through and assures him that he did all he could. Batman wipes away his tears and disagrees, saying that if he was just faster, that child would have seen their parents again. Alfred tells him, reminding him that he's only human, and brings up the Wayne's murder. Alfred says that if he got there fast enough, he possibly could have saved Bruce's parents, but he wasn't able to. Alfred then says how he's proud of Bruce and how he saved countless other lives, and to not let this one night drag him down into the darkness. Alfred tells him that he needs to stand tall to truly be the symbol that Gotham needs. Batman smiles at Alfred and thanks him for what he said. Alfred leaves Bruce to go upstairs. Batman sits to really think about what Alfred has said and takes it to heart. Batman stands from his seat, getting ready to be the symbol 